Morning, YouTube. Welcome to the dark underbelly of the bus. All right. So today, and I'm not really sideways. Today, I'm going to uh, be hanging the tanks. And uh, the first step was to make sure that they were going to fit. So uh, it's 28 inches between the frames each tank is 14 inches so just to be on the safe side let's see if they would fit and they do but they are gonna be tight um, the bottom frame they're tipped in a little bit so once I get it up in there I don't think it's gonna be a problem uh, one tank is gonna face that way and one tank this way uh, gray water this way so that I can have the discharge uh, back here and fresh water that way so I can have the inlet coming that way and all the piping goes out that direction so now to build a uh, framework to hold this up in here and We'll go from there. So the first step is making the hangers. And to make those, I need to make some sparks. I'm using some old bed frames. And uh, I'm going to take these apart. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to have uh, these two run down the outside and I can put a half inch threaded rod up through the floor, washer nut, tack weld the nut on so it doesn't back off. Um, two inches in, I'm putting a cross member to keep it from separating. I'm going to put a third uh, rail underneath because I've got the uh, these are 14 inches wide and I've got some uh, three-quarter inch plywood 18 inches so it's going to be two pieces and um, I'll bolt it down the center I'll bolt it on the side so it's not going to go anywhere that's basically to protect the bottom of the tank um, I don't know if I've got sheet metal wide enough. I think I do. If so, I'm going to put that underneath. But I'm going to coat the whole thing with uh, undercoat. So right now, I'm going to put the tanks up on here and uh, get some figuring done. First, I'm going to grab a couple clamps. Well, oh wait, this is too wide. Uh, so we got to cut things to length. So let me grab the tanks. We'll slide them up on here. Go from there. So what just occurred to me is that I'm going to have three quarter inch plywood underneath this. So I don't need to notch this, which is good. And I can also bolt down through and the bolts will be hidden by the plywood countersunk so that's good all right we get these measured and cut off I got to make sure this is square so let me grab that and then uh, we can go from there so as usual I figure this out as I go along <coughs> if I put the gray water tank here the rod coming down is not going to fit so what I'm going to do is put the gray water tank on the other side so the outlet will be over here in the center. It's not going to matter 
with the uh, the uh, fresh water because this is well I'll show you on the other side because the way the way the fresh water set up is I've got inlets going to be on the top doesn't matter whether it's over here or not um, I think and outlet if the rods block in this it doesn't matter because this is where the outlets gonna be or vice versa the outlet can be in the center pipe you know coming out and the inlet might be a problem but figure it out as I go along um, I think it's the same problem I got over there with the outlet so figure this out i don't i don't want to make it any wider because it's just barely going to fit in the frame as it is so oh well i gotta drill some half inch holes you know i gotta cut these to length okay got the basic framework done um i got plywood cut to go on here but what i want to do is the frame is going to keep things from moving this way i want to prevent moving that way so I'm going to weld on just a couple of small tabs on here to prevent that. I don't expect it to, but better prepared than not. Okay, so what I want to do now is I got the, the nuts on. I'm just going to put a little tack weld on each one to keep the nut in place so that they can't, it's impossible for them to vibrate themselves loose. All right. What are you doing down there? Get up here. It's work to do. like a glove okay so freshwater tank it's going to be uh inlet on top outlet on the bottom gray water tank will be the opposite i still need to put in an inlet and that's the outlet for for draining it i may even put a little small one here uh just because all right, so all right, so now I'm going to take and take the tanks off, put under our um, bed liner all over the uh, frame once I get that cleaned up, and then uh, we'll bolt the plywood in, and I'll spray that too. So um, I'm not going to hang it yet. I still got to get the up to uh, 
put a, uh, an outlet or an inlet for the um, the gray water. So on to wire brushing and uh, bed liner. When I said I was going to bolt it up through the floor, um, that was one of the plans. The other one is to put this across uh, across the top of the frame. I got to cut it long enough to make it, short enough to uh, uh, be able to fit it up in there. So I put it this way, bolt up through, same thing, the rods with the uh, a nut and a washer and uh, tack weld the, uh, the nut on so it can't back off and then hang this up there and then hang all this off of this. The kind of clamps I got will go over this and clamp right up onto the frame so this is not going to slide around at all and uh, one on either side it's not going to go anywhere. So now I got to measure for this and cut one of these and see if it if I can get it up on there. Uh, hopefully. All right, off to do that. Summa was I moved them in one uh, one slot because there's enough play in this, and I'm coming down. Uh, the tanks are 18 inches, so even if they're all the way up, they're going to be down here. Plenty of room to get that in. Uh, that is if I take it all the way up, which I probably won't. So, alright. Now I put these clamps on. And tighten that down, we'll get the other one in, and then when I'm ready, uh, we can get those tanks up into place. But like I said, first I got to get a couple of fittings. So until then, see you next time, YouTube. Yay.